What are you doing here? I'm trying to help. You're supposed to be working on the aircraft, but I can't work on the aircraft. I'm fairly right certain. Now. That the airplane is not running yet. It is not so running. I don't that's think I need your help fault. in this video. You, you definitely need my help in this video. I, I'm sure you do. I think I've got it. No, but, you don't. You know, if you want to sit there, that's fine. It's fine. Thanks. I actually I would like to I sit I suppose here. it won't be a big deal. No, nope, won't be a big deal. At any rate, I wanted to talk to you about the GTN 750 650 software, the firmware. The firmware has been updated. If you're not on this version, you definitely want to get there. It's got a really cool feature. Um, I've got a friend of mine who flies an Avidyne, and for some time, this Avidyne had kind of more FMS-like uh, interfaces Larry. compared to the Garmin GTN 750 prior to 6.50. 6.51. I understand. 6.51. I don't think it makes a huge difference for it what makes I'm a difference. To you're you're sharing with the same. audience. It should be 6.51. I, I you understand. should tell them what the, but, what the number is. Like, you're it's, messing with my script. But your script is stuff. wrong. Your stuff is wrong. Uh, Sorry, it just, okay. it's not it. 651. I you don't think it. I need your help. You do need no. my help. I can I tell think by the you way you're talking. You could just leave. No, and I'll be fine. To I don't show have anywhere to go. The audience, audience, what we're doing. I'll, I can. Help. I know, but I can help. I don't think they need both of us. They do. Okay, so let's take they a do. look. Here's the demonstration of the 6.50 or later software firmware update for the GTN 750. What I've done here is gone ahead and programmed in a flight plan, and that it, flight plan is just a local airport near me, Caldwell to Boise. Pretty short distance and what i want to show you is back here on the map you can see here just a regular normal magenta line that we would typically see uh, under normal conditions so what we're going to do is go back and look at that flight plan again and this time we're going to add this vnav capability and to do that we're, there's a couple ways you can do it actually this is the fastest if you want to add the marker um, or the waypoint and the altitude there's another way to just add the waypoint uh, prior to that. So we'll do it this way. We'll click on this um, altitude column here where you can see the little marker with the feet. That gives us some along the track. And what we'll do is along the track, we'll set negative four or prior to uh, four miles before the destination. And we'll say we want to be at, at or above, at or below or between. So we'll say at or below in this case. And for the example, we'll just put in 3500 MSL. And we'll go ahead and save that. And you'll see now we have another entry in the flight plan, which shows four nautical miles before Boise at below 3,500. That leg has now been activated from the previous leg that was Caldwell to Boise. Now, if we go in and look at the map, we'll see that uh, we also have that showing up here as four miles prior at or below 3,500. Now the aircraft's in flight according to this, and we are sitting at 6,100 GPS altitude. And you'll see here that the other thing we've got that's shown up is this top of descent ring. Now, if I slow the aircraft down to nothing in this case, uh, we'll see that training arrow. And then of course that top of descent disappears. We'll bring the speed back up the airplane. The airplane will turn around as it starts to gain speed. And we'll see that uh, top of descent marker come back up. So it's very similar to a G1000 and how that it functions, uh, which seems to be obvious. Obviously Garmin would leverage that capability. So there it is, top of descent. Let's go back one more time, take a look at the flight plan. We'll go ahead and just remove that. And what I'll do is just do it the other route. So we'll click on the waypoint. Uh, actually, let me activate real quick. Let me activate this leg just so we're like we were before. I'll click on this and say, let's time, this time let's add along the track and let's again do four nautical miles before and we'll call that done. Now what you'll see is it's activated the two legs just like it did before, but we don't have an altitude. So if we go back and look at the map, we will see that indeed it has marked four miles before. So that's kind of a handy feature if you don't need an altitude in there. Uh, and that would be the reason to do that. And of course, then we could just plop in here at or below. 3,500 MSL and save that. And going back to our map, we will ultimately see the same marker we had before at a blow at four miles. And we've got a top of descent because we've got the altitude plan in there. There you go. That's it. Uh, quick update to show you what 650 and later will give you if you're not on it. 
If you find this helpful, please feel free to subscribe. You can also follow along with the journey on the aircraft that we're working on uh, with the engine. We'll be doing full flight tests with this uh, Garmin software in that aircraft once it's up and running. And again, if it's helpful for you, please uh, click the like button. Uh, it just helps me get the word out a little bit more and I appreciate your time. Until next time, we'll talk to you later.